Well, thank you for returning as we complete this brief study on helping teens choose wise and godly friends. Again, we are using Proverbs to find verses about friendship and determining whether that would be a positive or negative trait that we would want our teen to invest time and energy and emotions into. So this morning, Proverbs 25, verse 20 says this, Like one who takes off a garment on a cold day, or like vinegar on soda, is one who sings songs to a troubled heart. This person patronizes you when you are really hurting. They make light of the difficulty that you are going through. You will find no comfort from that friend in such situations. And yet when they get in a pinch, they will want you to act differently towards them. Proverbs 27, verse 14. One who blesses his friend with a loud voice early in the morning, it will be considered a curse to him. This person is loud and obnoxious perhaps always talking, but when they do talk, it will be loud and obnoxious. It will hurt the ears. You will not want to be around such a person. Constant droning. Proverbs 26, 18 and 19 says, like a maniac who shoots flaming arrows, arrows and death, so is a person who deceives his neighbor and says, was I not joking? They are cutting in their remarks, and when confronted, they pass it off as only joking. I was just kidding. I didn't mean anything by it. Can't you take a joke? Well, no, when an arrow hits me, that's not a joke. That's painful. Proverbs twenty six twenty eight a perverse person spreads strife and a slanderer separates close friends. Proverbs 16, 28. This person shares with others what you have told him or her. This person shares with others what you have confided in them. They cannot keep confidences. By doing such, a person who does such a thing is looking for attention and acceptance by another group of peers. Proverbs 17, 9, one who conceals an offense seeks love, but one who repeats a matter separates close friends. Like Proverbs 16, 28, this person can't keep secrets and confidences, and it creates a separation in the relationship because trust has been violated. Proverbs 15, 1, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Their speech is harsh and full of anger. It is not calm. It is not gentle. Uh, it becomes very irritating and hard to communicate with such a person. We've gone through probably about 25 verses from Proverbs on friendship. I gave you a chart the last two broadcasts, perhaps, that you would want to sit down with your teen and rehearse this information and do a little checklist. They might be too close to a person to really evaluate that relationship. Let's take this to the next level. Why don't you record at least five things you learned from this study? Go back through the verses, go through back through the broadcast, write down the verses and the descriptions, and record five things that you've learned from this study. And perhaps write a paragraph on how these verses will help you choose wise and godly friends or help your teen choose wise and godly friends. 
although this material was a focus on teens, certainly adults in our culture today need to know how to choose wise and godly friends. Real spiritual friendship is eagerly helping one another know, serve, love, and resemble God in deeper and deeper ways. Surround yourself with people that build you up and encourage you to live out God's plans for your life. I hope that this brief series you will go back and listen to often that you will find strength. It's okay to be a Daniel and stand alone or Joseph and stand alone. Imitate Christ and stand alone. Multitudes of friends will not necessarily guide you down the right path. Paul says, as I close in 1 Corinthians, bad company corrupts good morals. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you following along in this study.